Learn from God to enlighten your soul. This is your daily devotional reading. Our Father cares, February 6th. Principle not to be sacrificed for peace. Peace I live with you, my peace I give unto you, not as the world giveth, give I unto you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. John 14 verse 27 There always have been and always will be two classes on the earth to the end of time, the believers in Jesus and those who reject him. Sinners, however wicked, abominable, and corrupt, by faith in him will be purified, made clean, through the doing of his word. Those who reject Christ and refuse to believe the truth will be filled with bitterness against those who accept Jesus as a personal Savior. But those who receive Christ are melted and subdued by the manifestation of his love and his humiliation, suffering and death in their behalf. The peace that Christ gave to his disciples and for which we pray is the peace that is born of truth, a peace that is not to be quenched because of division. Without may be wars and fightings, jealousies, envies, hatred, strife, but the peace of Christ is not that which the world giveth or taketh away. It could endure amid the hunting of spies and the fiercest opposition of his enemies. Christ did not for an instant seek to purchase peace by a betrayal of sacred trust. Peace could not be made by a compromise of principles. It is a grave mistake on the part of those who are children of God to seek to bridge the gulf that separates the children of light from the children of darkness by yielding principle, by compromising the truth. It would be surrendering the peace of Christ in order to make peace or fraternize with the world. The sacrifice is too costly to be made by the children of God to make peace with the world by giving up the principles of truth. Then let the followers of Christ settle it in their minds that they will never compromise truth, never yield one iota of principle for the favor of the world. Let them hold to the peace of Christ. Our Father cares. February 6th.